Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I want to show you how you can create a paper cutout animation inside of DaVinci Resolve. The inspiration of this video is coming from the future YouTube channel. They use this animation inside of their videos. So we'll try and replicate this effect inside of DaVinci Resolve. All right, so we're gonna kick off things by dragging in our paper texture image. So you can use any image over here. Um, I'm gonna use this image over here. You can see the size is quite big. I want this to be in a 1080p uh, resolution. In order to quickly do that, I can just simply add in a crop node to this. Click on add. If you do this crop one, you should see something like this. Uh, you can notice that it's 1920 by 1080. And all you have to do is click on this uh, icon right next to the text that says keep centered. Now your texture will be in the center. Then what we can do is add in a transform node. Type in XF. And let's um, add in a transform node. Let's view this. And on this transform node, we can start creating our animation. So make sure that you are at the very first frame, which is frame zero. And at the top, you can see inspector over here, and we have center X, Y. So I'm going to click on this little diamond icon to activate keyframe there. And I'm going to just change the position somewhere over here. Let's move forward 10 frames and change the position randomly somewhere over here. Move 10 frames forward. Keep changing the position, move 10 frames forward, change the position randomly, and then just let's do this one more time and just change the position somewhere over here. So now if you take a look at the animation, we'll have something like this. Now what we can do is in transform one, we can go to spline over here, select all, and click on zoom to fit icon. If you don't see all of the keyframes, you can click here, and then I'm going to Make sure that all the keyframes are selected and then select this option or click on this option that says step in. So if you now play the animation, you can see that now we will only have the animation wherever the keyframes are. So right over here, we have a keyframe. That's where the paper will change. If I undo this, you can see now before eventually resolve automatically created animation in between the keyframes. But when we set this to step in, then wherever the keyframe is, um, that is where the animation will take place. Uh, cool then we will uh, also click on this option that says set loop now if you take a look at it you'll have this animation going on continuously now we only have uh, one issue that is we have this blank area here so we can go to transform one and on the edges we can set this to mirror All right so now we'll have this paper animating throughout like so then after this transform one we can also add in a color generator click on add and you can just go ahead with any color i'm going to go with the blue color let's put this this is how it is going to look any settings i'm going to set the blend to around 0.7 so we can see the color and also we can see the texture behind it so if you play this you can see we still have the paper texture here great so far so good now what we can do is we can add any graphic inside so it can be anything that is related to your topic so since um, it's going to be pretty random for me, I'm just going to add in this war plane image, which is a PNG image. Right, so this is my image over here. I'm going to connect it up with this color generator with this merge one. And then on this merge one, I can just resize this. So on the size, I'm going to just scale it down like so. Yeah, and then go ahead. You can rename this if you want to. I'm going to click on this node and add in a background node to this, which is the very first icon over here. And this will result in merge tool. Right click on it and click on swap inputs. So now the background is behind. And on the background, I can just go ahead and change it to any color that I want. Uh, so now what we can do is we can on this background one add in a polygon mask, like so. And then you can just simply zoom in and trace around your object like so and just randomly create a shape around your object. Right. So I think that looks good. You can tweak it, uh, tweak the polygon at, at any time. And now what we want to do is we want to animate this um, this background shape. So what we can do is we can after this background one, add in another node called uh, displace. Click on add, and at displace node we will also need a fast noise, which is this very second icon over here. So just connect the fast noise to the displace over here. Let's actually go to fast noise and I'm going to increase the scale amount. So maybe I'm going to set this to around seven. 
and then I can animate the seat over here. So I'm going to go to the very first frame again and create the same um, keyframes as, as we did with the transform over here. So create keyframe on seat, move 10 frames forward, change the seat value, just keep on increasing it. Uh, go to frame 20, increase the seat value, go to frame 30, and increase it again and go to frame 40, and I'm going to increase it one more time. All right, so if you take a look at the background over here, I can see we have something going on over here, right? Uh, so now what we can do is we can select this fast noise, go to the spline over here, so the spline editor. I'm going to uncheck everything except the seat over here, and then click on this zoom to fit icon so we can see all of the keyframes. Uh, click on this icon that says select all, and then click on step in. You already know what it does. Uh, and then click on this icon that says set loop. So now if you take a look at the animation, we will have something like this. Now what we can do is we can have this background over here. We can add in another node. It's completely optional, but you can add a drop shadow to it and increase the shadow strength and reduce the blur amount. You can see that we have another shape uh, under this background node and it looks really cool in my opinion. You can go ahead and change the color if you want, but I think the default color, the black color looks cool. And yeah, that is uh, that's pretty much it. You can go ahead and now animate this plane coming in uh, from any direction that you want. So let me just use the merge over here so that we can grab both the plane and the background. So I can go to the very first frame, create a keyframe on center XY, go to frame 10, change the position, bring it somewhere over here, go to frame 20, move it forward a little bit, go to frame 30. Again, move it forward, go to frame 40. I'm going to keep it right in the center now, like so. And again, I'm going to select this displacement over here. Click on zoom to fit. Again, select all and click on this icon that says step in. And then you can also click on set loop. Um, actually, we don't need set loop on this. If I set this to set loop, then it's going to keep on repeating this process. Like so, we don't want that. So I'm going to undo that uh, part. So now we have this really cool stop motion look. And then we can also animate the angle over here. So I'm going to right click on it and modify with perturb and go to modifiers. And if I increase the strength quite a bit, you can see the animation over here. You can see we are able to rotate this graphic over here, but it's kind of smooth. So I'm going to increase the speed quite a bit something like that and maybe i can increase the wobble amount a little bit so yeah you can play around with these settings um, but that is pretty much it that's how you can create this effect inside of davinci resolve i hope this video is helpful hope it will help you in your upcoming projects thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next one